we do that here already, right? So we do recovery and conversion, refining and conversion, either carbonate or hydroxide. And the next step now is can you take that lithium carbonate or hydroxide to literally the battery cell? Whether whatever chemistry it might be, lithium iron phosphate or lithium manganese, nickel, whatever. It's, it's, I'm, I, and I'm explaining in the same way as the John Deere tractor, it's, it's very obvious, right? You don't have to be an economist to know the savings and, and the benefits, right? So one cathode facility alone is two and a half thousand people. So you think about that, right? And then if the complex employs X amount of people, I mean, according to IVDC and others, I mean, there's, there's four people that support every one that's on the company. You know, you've got services and this whole ecosystem, but we're not there yet, but you can sort of see where we're heading. It's all about localising supply chain. Yeah. The US hasn't done it for years. And then the opportunity's right here, right under our own noses, yeah. from a national security point of view to just commercial common sense. Get people busy, get people jobs, and let's do it, you know. Yeah, so, I mean, if you use, move on for lithium for a little bit, I mean, potassium, right? Potassium, which they say the world will starve without it, you know, in 50 years. I mean, the US imports over 7 million tonnes of potassium from Belarus and Canada. We can service the whole US potassium industry right here. <laughs> it's the biggest low-hanging fruit we have.